Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to pass the play integrity test. In other words, how to pass the meet device integrity as well as the basic integrity test on your rooted Android phone. So while I'll not go into much depth, you could read my guide, but there are a few important points that deserve your attention. So first and foremost, regarding the play integrity, up until this point, as you might be aware, if your phone is rooted via Magisk or kernel SU, then the safety net test will fail and you will no longer be able to use any banking and payment app. But we already know the method to bypass the safety net test. I have also made a guide and a video on the same. But beginning with January 2025, Google has said for all the apps that they should now move away from the safety net and they should now adapt the play integrity test. So from January 2025, which is the deadline, from then onwards, all the banking and payments app and even the likes of Uber and McDonald's and all such apps that causes issues. So from, from that point in time onwards, they will also move over to the play integrity test and no longer require the safety net test. So even if you are passing the safety net test or you are failing, that will not be of any concern or any value as such. What you have to do is just you have to pass the play integrity test. The safety net test will be of no value at that point in time. Well, some banking apps have already moved over from the safety net and they have now already used the play integrity. So as you might have seen a few reports in the that the, some of the banking apps are no longer able to work in the even if the device is passing the safety net test, even then some banking apps are not working such as the GS banking app and the standard, standard chartered or the iMobile banking app. So all these apps are no longer working. Even if the device is passing the safety net test, this is ha happening because these apps have already moved over to the play integrity test. Regarding the major difference between the safety net and play integrity, in safety nets you had to pass the two tests namely basic integrity and CTS profile match. On the other hand, when it comes to the play integrity, there are three tests, the meet device integrity, meet basic integrity, as well as the meet strong integrity. Out of these three tests, you will only have to pass the first and second test. That is the device and basic integrity. You will not be able to pass the third test and that is not a cause of concern. You will not be able to pass this test because for passing the strong integrity, you will have to relock the bootloader and relocking the bootloader is not possible because our phone is currently rooted. So if you try to relock the bootloader on a root phone, then it will end up in a brick state. So please don't try to relock the bootloader and the failing of this test is completely normal. It will not cause any issues with the rest of the banking and payments app. You will only have to pass the device and the basic integrity test. The failing of the third test is not a cause of any concern. Just leave it in that state and it will work well and good. You cannot pass this test until and unless you relock the bootloader and relocking is not recommended and should not be done. So our ultimate aim is to just pass the first and second test. And then with this, you will be able to use the banking and payment app. And likewise, you will also pass the safety net test as well. Although it is not required in the near future, but I'll also show you that upon passing the first and second test, you will automatically pass the safety net test as well. So with that said, now comes the most important part on how you could pass both this test and pass the safety net test as well. So first and foremost, let me show you my phone is currently rooted by a magisk. The latest build is installed and you could verify from here. It's the Android 14. Let me show you once again. So my phone is rooted via Magisk and as of now, this is the integrated checker. I will talk about that later on. So if I perform a check now, you could see all the three tests are failing. But as I have told you, simply ignore the third test. That is not our motive. We will have to pass the first and second test. So for doing so, let me show you how we could pass this test. Likewise, let me show you the result of the safety net test as well while that is not required in the near future but as of now as you could see both the tests i am failing both the tests which is the basic integrity and the safety s profile match test so once you pass the device integrity and basic integrity you will automatically pass the safety net test as well so i will show you that too but first and foremost let's pass both this test the basic meet device and the basic integrity test so for that 
first and foremost you have to enable zygisk in magisk so launch the magisk app as you could see it's currently no next to zygisk then tap on the settings icon at the top right then go to zygisk and enable the toggle next to it it is asking for a reboot we will not do a reboot now we will do a reboot after flashing the module so now comes the most important part this is the module play integrated fix module so you could get it from github go there and then go to its release section and from here you could download the latest build so uh, please keep in mind that always use the latest build because google regularly patches this loophole the same thing has happened a couple of days back whereas wherein google had patched this loophole and this module was no longer working but within a few days the developer once again found a new loophole and he then fixed that issue and launched a new version so this cat and mouse game is going on and it will go on in the near future as well so always make sure to be on the latest build of this module so get this module from here and transfer the module onto your phone once you have done so you will now have to flash this module so go to the module section and yes one more thing please make sure that as of now you don't have the safety net module which we use to pass the safety net test so there should not be any such module in other words it is the U usnf also known as universal safety net fix module make sure that you don't have that module in sort if that is there then please remove that module because both these modules may conflict with each other so make sure that you don't have any module regarding the usnf so remove those modules and once that is done download this plane integrating fix module from here and let's now flash it via magisk so type on install from storage and let me now select this module so this is the module tap on ok and it will now flash the module once that is done just tap on reboot and your phone will now reboot to the os and it will take only a few seconds once that is done we could now move ahead with the next step so the module flashing will take only a few seconds and our phone should not boot into the os once the flashing is done you will then have to remove the data of the google service framework this is the most important part apart from that the play store and play service and the play protect service these are the recommended but this is compulsory to remove the data of the google service framework but to be on the safer side i will highly recommend that you remove the data of all these apps so let's carry out that task as well so once you have flashed the module just verify the same go to the magisk and launch it then go to its module section as you could see the module is up and running now let's remove the data of all these apps so go to settings menu then go to apps then go to app management this screen might vary depending on the phone that you own so that is not a cause of concern you will now have to enable the show system apps as well and now first and foremost let's search for all these apps so google play service let's remove its data as well after that we have the google play store remove the data of this app as well next we have the google play project service this app is only there on some phone it's not there on every phone so verify it's mostly there on pixel phone so let's search if it's there on our phone or not my i'm using a oneplus phone so it's not there on my phone and the most important is the google service framework so this is the app you also have to remove the data of this app as well so remove the data of all these apps once that is done you will now have to remove the data of the banking and payment app of your choice whatever app is that so make sure to remove that data as well after that it's highly recommended that you do a restart once again so just a minute let me do a restart it will take only a few seconds once the restart is done we could then verify if we are passing the play integrity test or not that is the first two tests the basic and the meet device integrity and the basic integrity test so we will then verify the same as well so our phone should boot into the os for verification there are two methods 
you could either do so from the play store itself or using a third party app i'll show you the play play store as well as the third party app method so regarding the play store let's just wait for our phone to boot up and then i'll show you so both this method so if you want to talk about the play store okay so currently i am not signed in that's not an issue regarding the play store check you could verify either via the play store or a third party app if you talk about play store then launch the play store then tap on your profile icon at the top right and then select settings after that under settings you have to tap on play store version seven times once you do so seven or eight times once you do so you will get a prompt that you are now a developer after that go to developer options and then tap on check integrity under play integrity once you do so you will get two values and the name of those value will be basic integrity and device integrity as you could see here meet device integrity and meet basic integrity you will get those two values so i'm repeating once again i'm given the steps here tap on your profile and go to settings about then tap on play store version eight times then this will enable developer option you could access it from the settings general developer option then tap on check integrity and it will list out both this test if it is showing only one test then it means something is wrong from your end and you will have to carry out this task once again apart from the play store you could also use a third party app to carry out this test for instance it's the play integrity api checker so let me use this app and show you the result so this is the play integrity api checker app tap on check and now we should be passing the first and second test as you could see i am now passing the first and second test in the initial half of the video during the starting part i had shown you i was failing all the three tests but now you could see i am passing the first and second test which is the test which we need to pass again i am repeating we don't have to pass the third test only the first and second test likewise since we are now passing the play integrity test we should now also pass the safety net test as well so let's verify that as well and as you could see we are also passing the basic integrity and cts profile match test so this is in fact a much easier and faster way of passing the test as opposed to the yasnet method sorry as opposed to the safety net test method in which you have to flash the module and remove the data of a few apps so this is a much faster shorter and also recommended me method because the safety net test is going obsolete in a matter of a year or two and all the apps will then move over to the play integrity api checker so make sure to pass both this test and with this your task stands complete and if you, your phone will always fail as i have told you before your phone will always fail the meet strong Sorry. integrity as i have told you before your device will always fail the meet strong integrity because the bootloader is currently unlocked to pass this test you will have to lock the bootloader which is not recommended because your phone will end up in a brick state and a rooted phone cannot have a locked bootloader so please ignore this strong integrity and proceed ahead and if your device is passing safety net but you still cannot use the banking app this is happening because these banking app have already moved over to the play integrity api checker and that is why you are not able to use this banking app so it's highly recommended that you move over to the safety net api integrity api checker and pass both this test and ignore about the safety net test so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching